Thank you, Kylie, for that important information on review of the literature. I am here to further that information on my slide, the review of the literature, part two. I'm here to answer questions four, what solutions have already been tried, and five, what politics are involved that might impede a resolution to the problem. So in total, we have five solutions that have already been tried. Some have been successful, others have not. The first out of the five um, solutions is free tuition. It works well with um, students that are close and near to the community college, not big name universities that offer free tuition to students that live close um, or in a certain radius near the school. They um, offer free tuition for them students to go to that school. It um, helps out immensely with people who are um, kind of like in townies or uh, c the city people that live closest to that college, that community college, since it's not a um, division one college. And it's helped out immensely for students um, at a two year community college. The second option, I mean a solution that has been tried is lowered student loans. This. Um, helps for many. This helps out for a lot of people that have the um, enough amount of funds to be able to do this, but not everybody has the same amount of funds, so it does not work for everyone, because we know not um, there is no certain price on college. College is something that is extremely expensive for students, and it is not easy to try to lower your loan debt when you're already twenty thousand dollars more and some more debt that's going to just keep adding up from four to six years and so on um the third um, solution that's been tried is to live frugally so that's um being very strict with your money not going out to eat not going to parties not spending your money on amazon or um you know ebay or something you just uh to not spend like you're the richest person on the planet you know you gotta you got you gotta budget you gotta be smart with your money and you gotta make sure that you're doing um, what's needed to be done to save your money so that you can get out of college with the least amount of debt as possible. And though some students have success with it, many do not. And the students that usually don't have success with it come from uh, low income homes, usually had to um, miss out on getting new school clothes every year. It's, it's from students from um, um, urban areas that are very less fortunate, though it all the tides can also turn to um, students that are deemed rich, who are not who are not ready to um, have to count and budget their money, make sure that they spend wisely, and do what they can to um, again come out of college with the least amount of debt as possible. Um, the fourth option, which is the option I am currently doing, and it is a disaster, which is working while in college. You know, I wake up every day and I get paid minimum wage for a job that has constant problems. It's in the food industry. It is not easy. My shift hours often vary from two to six and plus. It is absolutely insane trying to do it while also being a full-time college student because of all the sacrifice that it takes for such a little little paycheck and the fifth solution that has been tried is pay is for um, having students pay off their most expensive loans first this um, was seen to if a student pays off their extremely expensive part like if they pay off like a $2,000 um, loan, that'll help them for the next one that's coming up, maybe whether it be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. It's just trying to just shorten the amount as much as you can. And again, I know this is repetitive, but get out of college with the least amount of debt as possible. And for question number five, what politics are involved that might impede a resolution to the problem. Um, I did some research and I found out that, and I feel like everybody knows this, Democrats are with free tuition. It's something that Biden's talked about, something that um, Bernie Sanders has talked about, and they are with lowered student loans. 
and I was looking in the news, and this was about a couple months back, but the Republican Party have blocked the student loan forgive forgiveness bill because they were fearing that students are spending government money, which is not theirs, on um, parties, vacations, um, cars, just insane amounts of money on things that are way out of their budget with money that they don't have. And now let's go to how can information and literature be used to solve the problem by Kendall and Allison.